Welcome to Across the Gulf Coast, highlighting organizations, events, and people from around our local community. Hello, I'm Cam Johnson, Public Affairs Manager for Cox Communications, and I'd like to welcome you to the February episode of Across the Gulf Coast. As always, we've got a great show in store for you this month. We're going to talk with Pensacola Sports and some of their upcoming events this spring. We'll also be joined by Leadership Pensacola to find out what their project is for 2016, and we'll have some other great topics that we'll discuss as well. But we're going to kick it all off in Crestview, and we're going to talk about a, a, an outstanding annual event that takes place in Crestview every spring. And joining me now to talk about that is Mike Roy. He is with the uh, Triple B or the Triple B Chairman with the Crestview right. Area Chamber of Commerce. Very good. Mike, thank you so much for being my guest today. Glad to be here. Appreciate you inviting us. Absolutely. You know, it's always a great event mm -hmm. that you guys put up, put together up there in Crestview, so we're always happy to have you uh, come down here and talk to us about it. So uh, for those watching at home that aren't familiar with the Triple B, uh, just give me an overview of what the Triple B event is. It's a mixture of a barbecue event, entertainment with bluegrass music and other musics, as well as vendors and, and all sorts of uh, children's uh, toys to play in. Mm -hmm. uh, we just opened Main Street up and everybody comes down. There's, there's a free event and uh, we just enjoy ourselves all day from 2 to 6. All right, so when is this? When, when does On the event take Saturday, place? March 19th, and you can be guaranteed it'll either be cold or it's going to be warm, but we don't know which, but it'll be good either way. But rain or shine. That's correct. Rain or shine, the show goes on. Okay, so let's, let's kind of dive into the, some of the details a little bit. And you mentioned, of course, uh, some entertainment. Uh, you mentioned bluegrass, but what are some of the, not just the music, but events or activities that the kids can do uh, while they're there? Tell me a little bit about the entertainment you guys have in store. With the entertainment, we have two stages. On the north end, we'll be on the lottery stage. We will have, that's where the bluegrass mainly mm -hmm. is with a mix of some others. The south end of the stage this year is sponsored by the Crestview Centennial Committee. They're lining up a variety of music. I don't know have the exact names sure. yet, but they, they're excited because this is our Crestview Centennial and this is the, one of the main events they get to kick it off on. And then how about kid activities? While, while mom and dad maybe walk around sampling some barbecue, what can the kids be doing? We, we'll have uh, the bouncy houses, we'll have slides. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's gonna be face painting, mm -hmm. there's gonna be balloons. It, in the side streets, uh, they're set up with all sorts of different uh, entertainment for the children. Always those popular activities. It's amazing how much those kids like the, the face painting and those bounce houses. That's right. Of course, it's kind of neat to see the adults when they try to get on the slide. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got to try, and a lot of them fail. It's just that, fantastic. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, you mentioned also vendors and, and booths set up. What kind of vendors do you have? Is we it arts have and crafts? Or? Everything from arts and crafts, homemade goods, uh, regular retail things. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, different uh, schools will have uh, uh, displays out there. Uh, car dealerships. So it's just an array of all types of, of, uh, of people there selling their wares and, sure. and displaying what they have to offer. So it's kind of a typical festival Absolutely. environment. But it covers from the courthouse all the way to the railroad station with wow. different vendors. It's, it's a big that's event. A big, yeah, that's a big event. Uh, and of course, one of the main draws is of course the barbecue, the right. food. So tell me about that. How many, uh, how many vendors or cooks, organizations, however, uh, how do you have coming together to, uh, to provide food? Right sure. at this time, we, we don't have the vendors lined up. We start on February 1st accepting the okay. applications. Generally, we have 15 or so in the competition, and people get to go for a dollar. You buy a ticket called a People's Choice Ticket, mm -hmm. and you can go from booth to booth and sample the different barbecues, and then you vote on which one you think is the best. If you buy five or six tickets, you'll have a meal Plus, you'll be sure. able to sample all the different ones as well. Sure. Are you cooking this year? No. No, I'll be busy enough. I, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be sampling, though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Everybody. That's, I know that's one of the most popular things to do out there, obviously, at exactly. the, the, the Triple B. Uh, so let's talk about why the Chamber does this. Why, why does the Chamber host this event? I believe it's the 12th annual, right, if I remember. Right, 12th annual. So for 12 years, you guys have been hosting this event in Crestview. Why is that? This actually started out as a, a business expo mm -hmm. and evolved into our barbecue festival. Some of the members came up with the idea of moving downtown and, and opening this up. It's a family-oriented event. It's alcohol-free. So mom and dad, grandparents can come down, sure. walk the street, don't have to be concerned about, about anything. 
And it's just, it gives Crestview a chance to open up and we bring in visitors from all over. Mm -hmm. Most of them have not viewed downtown and this gets them to, to, to see what we have to offer. Yeah, I would definitely encourage you. I've been up there <coughs> several times and it occurred me from Rome, but it used to be at the park up off 85, correct? Right. Before it moved downtown. So yeah, I've been there several times. I encourage anybody in, in Pensacola or that hasn't been to this event. Uh, it is a fantastic event uh, to attend. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, for coming on the show and, and telling us about it. Uh, we got about a minute or so left, but I, I, I would like for you, if you could, uh, let me know if, if you're still accepting sponsorships, how people can sign up to be a vendor, and, and uh, any other information they might need to receive. All the applications are on our webpage at the Crestview Chamber. Uh, starting in, on the 1st of February, we start with our vendor applications and our uh, competitors. Mm -hmm. That'll be available. Any other information, they can call the Chamber and uh, Valerie or Jennifer be glad to give them all the information. I would like to say don't hesitate because sure. we fill up quickly. Absolutely. Uh, one of the things we do want to do is thanks Cox Communications for being one of our major sponsors. We appreciate y'all's participation in it as well. I know, we're happy to do it. It's a great event you guys put on up there, so we're happy to be a part of it. But so, it's, a, it's a day to enjoy Crestview. Absolutely. Well, Mike, thank you so much for, for coming down to Fort Walton and being on the show today and telling us about the event. And good luck with this year's uh, festival, rain or shine, hot right. or cold, it, it will go on. Thanks for inviting us. Absolutely. Stay with us. When we come <clears throat> back, we'll be in Pensacola to talk about events in Escambia County.